Okay, welcome. This is not. Welcome to the Squash Cast podcast. Citrus is currently um getting high off of decaf. Apparently, I'm not good with decaf. So who are we here? I think who coffee and we? decaf are the same thing. We got groovy. I had messed up parents. <laughs> I know got, it's all his parents' fault. We got Max. <laughs> <laughs> he just farted. <laughs> oh. So we could, we could remember how you said who farted earlier. We we all know who it was. Okay. <laughs> Look at Mark. Just get that that was... shady, creepy ass grin right there. So what are we? We're gonna be talking about anime impulse today. Oh, are we? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about anime impulse? It was. It is. Well, could you tell me some history? Don't tell me what it was like. <gasps> what? What history? What? Isn't what? it only two years old? It's next to a, an Asian, three, three, four, three years old. Four, Asian thingy. <laughs> Mark, go ahead. What were you it, saying? It's next to an Asian convention. It's the Asian American Expo. Where, where, where? If you're not Asian, they won't give you free <laughs> it's coupons. Like, it's like the dairy, the dairy products at the end of the grocery store. Like it's, it's on the side. Shopdisney.com. But it's serious? good. It's, it's good. It's a good part. <laughs> of the whole yeah. Asian Expo. Can we get on topic here? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Put that's your phone down. Wait, you unlocked it? No, no that's, that's just... That's just oh, give it back to him. He's looking at my history and it's full no. of shopping at Mickey. <laughs> full I'll of try, shopping I'll at Disney. I'm trying to show you the satanic worshiper cat. Oh, God. Okay, okay. so... Impulse. Okay, we're talking about impulse. How do we feel about it? What did we do? I enjoy it. I enjoy it every... All when citrus is oh, on okay. caffeine, it's not a good thing. I'm too hyperactive right But now. it's decaf. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a special, like a special, um, I guess, moment at the last impulse oh. because of our buddy Max. Max. <laughs> yes. Um. So just a reminder, we went to Anime Impulse last year and it was not the best experience. Wait, what? Well, it was a good experience. Last year? Last year. Yeah, I thought was, we liked it, was, it last it was, year. It was good. We yeah. liked it. We did? The only thing we didn't like was buying a mystery bag. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah no. That was $50. For me, <laughs> spending $100 on a convention and not getting anything good out of it. For me, Okay, look. In general, <laughs> in general, we like Impulse because it's a smaller, more budget co- um, convention that anyone can pretty much go to it's, at any moment, any time. Is it called a convention? Um, I would say more like a gathering. Yeah, it's it's, but it's very refreshing. Uh, less people, lots of anime goods. What I like about Cosplay. this this year is um the Asian American um co- uh, gathering is right next to it. So now the expo they no the, they were there last time. Really, the Asian American Expo. It is yeah, combined. yeah, no. It I'm was trying, always there. No, yeah, it's always been there, but they didn't want to merge. Like, they didn't want, they didn't say that they were a thing together. Now they're kind of like saying, like, oh yes, this because we went on the trolley. They had the whole announcement. They're like, oh, you're talking about the different parkings. Yeah, so they we went on the trolley and they were saying, welcome it's to ba- the Asian American Expo, um, where you will either buy Chinese food or you will buy anime goods. We basically had to go in with all the other Asian people. Yeah, so we we shared a trolley. Of, yeah, but, but Mexican. Yeah, well, we didn't get the free coupons though. <laughs> oh, we did. So when we leave, people, these Asian guys give away um newspapers in and Chinese. They give away the newspapers only to p- Chinese looking people or Asian looking people. And speci- uh, if they look at you and you you look white, Mexican, black, especially black, <laughs> they, will <laughs> 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 they will they will stare at you. And they will not give you a newspaper. So what did I do? I'm basically Mexican, but I look a little bit Filipino. So I took off my glasses. I squinted a little <laughs> bit more, and I got a newspaper. It was pretty awesome. Of course, I threw it away eventually. But, you know, the fact that they gave it to a Mexican, I beat the system. Okay, back on topic. So the, special, Mickey. the special part of the... Ca- Swallow. The... Of convention? The, <laughs> the conven- expo or impulse gathering is Max and his achievement. Oh, you, Max, you, you want to tell us a little bit yes, about that? Yes, tell us about that. Okay, so basically... Because this year, it was definitely about you. Shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so basically, 
Uh, I've been playing Smash for a good number of years, but never uh when i like when outside the like i can't say the norm pretty much like it's normal to go to tournaments and blah blah but i usually don't do that i usually just play online or play with friends and stuff and then pretty much out of my and in my years of playing the game there was never somebody that's like better than me for example like in the game but it's not i'm not saying i'm not like dissing on anybody pretty much it's like just because i put more hours into a game got me to that point i guess but i always thought of myself as like oh i'm not good i just like i just play the game like as best as i can and then basically uh, i was like you know what i i actually do care about getting better as a as a player so what i did was i joined the tournament that they had the smash ultimate tournament and it pretty much what's it called um even though each smash game is different compared to ultimate like no like each smash game is pretty much different like i would never call a smash game the same thing because you know like mechanics are different how the system feels is different, all that stuff. And then what's it called for this one? I felt like I really just used my fundamentals in the game to see how far it will get. And I honestly thought I was going to lose like first or second match, like uh, like set. And then I'll, like, you know, I'll be on my way. <laughs> but surprisingly, I got second place, which is pretty cool because uh, that was my first tournament. And um, yeah, like I, I guess like what made Enemy Impulse for us like significant was um like last time when we went to anime impulse it was pretty much like we looked at everything even the the what is that called the chinese other asian <laughs> american expo. yeah it was like oh, okay so last year we explored the asian american expo and we, and anime impulse so what's it called so that took like a good portion of time you could say and we had so much time that we even made a video <laughs> the yeah that luigi video <laughs> so what's it called <laughs> so pretty much like uh I feel like Enemy Impulse is, like, short. It's, like, short and sweet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you get there. Like, it's it's not that expensive. You go, and then you buy something, usually. Or, like, or you could buy food or something. Oh, come on. Yeah. yeah. Kitchen. Oh, my God. I discovered JF. JF Kitchen. I mean, JF. JFK chicken. Kitchen. <laughs> JF Chicken? JF Kitchen. What? <laughs> Basically, uh, KFC, but Japanese version. Oh. Uh-huh. The chicken was bomb. Thank you, Mark. For sharing that with me, you would you would compare Okamoto Kitchen to KFC Chicken, but better. No, no, no. like I, I can't pronounce the JFK. <laughs> Ch- <laughs> Basically, they had like Asian fried chicken or yeah. Japanese fried chicken, yeah. But yeah, they that call shit's it good. J- they call it like Japanese fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. It's better than KFC. KFC sucks. Don't ever eat it. Oh my god. Dude, not, they don't even do the coleslaw right. The coleslaw's bad. <laughs> it's just basically water <laughs> with salad. That's what it tastes like. Oh, so what we were saying was... <laughs> oh, so basically... um, So we we usually... Well, last year when we went to Adam Impulse, it was short. Like It was kind of like a few hours. We were able to make a video. We went to the Asian American thing. But this time, since there was that tournament, the tournament pretty much took up most of the time. Like That was like a six-hour freaking event like i didn't expect it to be that long <laughs> so pretty much like so we looked around anime impulse like the convention center you could say like the the place you buy stuff we looked around we did like three laps of that like really quick and then we went to the artist alley and did like two laps of that and then what's it called which is like you could do it honestly at, like under an hour like yeah but what's it called um the um, unless you're specifically buying for something special then you really want to compare prices yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Uh, and then what's it called? Um, but we were there for a very long time because of that tournament because I didn't expect it to be that long. Like six hours, right? <laughs> yes. Like I was for, really tired. For even though like me, OJ, and Mark didn't um, play, like Max is the only one that was in the competition, it was still fun like to me. Um, we kept checking our phones to see when Max would be up. And then we would film every match. Oh, we could talk about how like it worked, like you yeah. know what I mean, like the how the bracket worked and stuff. So, um, basically, what was cool was okay. So you sign up online, and then they have your name in like their system. So basically, um, you could check when you're up in the website. Like for example, pretend like okay, so you go at like twelve. Was it like twelve? It started or yes. something. So we went like at twelve. PM to be like, oh, okay, so we're participating in it. And they're like, okay, we have your name and whatever. And then basically, um, 
So the tournament started like an hour after, I believe. No. Oh no, it did. Yes. Anyway, what's it called? Uh, pretty much. Okay, so you do your first match. Then after your first match, you have to wait a good while. But what you could do, which is cool, was their website was like really updated. So basically, um, pre- pretend you're like like I have no idea when I start next. Like it's confusing. You get me? So like, do I just like stand around and not do anything or what? So basically, if you check their website, they tell you exactly when you're supposed to be on. Like you, you know, and it tells you, it shows you a whole bracket of all the uh, people who are participating, the people you're gonna battle, and then what's it called, and the potential people you're gonna battle next. You know, and then what's it called, um, all on the website. So for example, you're able to like enjoy Impulse, enjoy the uh, Asian American Expo. Expo. <laughs> what's it called? While looking at the website, so you could know when you're on. So instead of like just standing there waiting for your turn to play since like everybody has to finish their game to go to the next set you're able to just like wander off do whatever you want and then come back you know what i mean like and then what's it called they're pretty lenient too like for example if you're 15 minutes late of a game what's it called like no like that's like the most you could be late honestly because like there was like a lot um it was kind of ju- like for example it was kind of um like it was not like everybody came at the exact same time it was kind of like a little you get me? Like, there was, like, a leeway of people being late, but they still got their match done. So, I thought that was kind of... Well, it was kind of good and bad, because you kind of want your match, you know, as quickly as possible. But another thing, too, is it's kind of cool that you don't have to worry, like, oh, crap, I have to hurry up. Uh, or they're going to, like, skip me for my next match or whatever, so you can enjoy, like, the conventions. Like, both the conventions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Holy shit, I just realized something. What? Her hair is, like... Horns that cover the front. What are you talking about? I'm talking about one of your pillows on your bed. What's her? What's that character's name? Look, <laughs> we're doing a podcast. <laughs> I, I know we are. I know we are. It's just I I had a realization because I can't get that hair right when I'm drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so like the achievement of getting second is really good to you like you're you're very pleased i don't know <laughs> really? yeah I don't you're know. like i could have gone first because like, okay the thing is it's like yeah tell us a little bit more of why you came in second and why are you kind of like oh you could have been first no okay so like okay i'm a person that's never pleased with what i do like i'm like like being honest like you know if i win something if i earn something i'm never like happy about it because i'm just like i could have done better or i don't deserve it you could say so pretty much what's it called it's like the reason I feel that way is because, like, for example, like, like I don't mean to compare myself with other people, but I do a lot. So, for example, there's, like, a lot of top players. Like, I know, like, I follow a lot of um, top players in, like, the Smash community, you could say. I know what's it called. Like, I always, like, see their matches, all that stuff. Like, I, I take notes and all that stuff. But it's, like, uh, like, I don't mean to, like, yeah, diss on anybody or diss on myself or whatever. But it's just the thing is it's, like, it's not, like, they joined the tournament. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, the top people, you know what I mean? Like, the top, like, eight, six, or whatever, the 16 people in the world joined the tournament. It was, like, a casual thing. So, kind of, like, even though, like, I got close to first place, it's, like, like, whoa, that's a good achievement, but it's just, like, I don't think I'm in the level of the people I follow at all. So, and, and like, another thing, too, it's, like, I should be happy because I thought I was going to lose, like, the first match, honestly. Like, I, I didn't think I was going to get far at all because I'm, like, oh, people who joined the tournament uh know what they're doing but actually it was kind of like it was like a mixed bag it was kind of like um the first people you fought are people who are just like this is my first tournament i'm just trying out ball you know like stuff like that was pretty much me and then what's it called um uh and then you fight them and then what's it called you could kind of like like you know that they're kind of doing it just to do it you know what i mean or like want the experience of the tournament but like so like you know like you would fight people who like have a hard time recovering on stage You'd have a hard time. You would have. You'll fight people who, you know, that don't tech every, um, like all the time when they're when they're about to fall, they don't tech. You know, uh, people who do like, what? Oh, what I was saying was <laughs> they I, they gave me a look. What? Or like yeah, for yeah, example, there's, there's just terms that we didn't. Yeah. Understand. Or people are get, getting back on stage. Like you know, like they would go always low. They would go always high. You know, the get up options. It's all that stuff. So pretty much, it's there's a lot of people who don't take that into account but it's not like they were bad players or anything it's just like uh you could tell that the tournament was full of different skill gaps 
Because, like, you know, like, the first... I think that's like that for, like, every tournament, honestly. I don't think it was just from Anime Impulse. I think there would always be new people going in the game and new people being like, oh, this is my first tournament, I'm going to try it out, and blah, blah. But once you start, yeah, what's it called? Getting deeper in the tournament, deeper in the brackets, yeah, you could see the huge skill gap and stuff. And then what's it called? Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh, no, no, well, I guess... Um, We're talking about how they're... Um characters who are just overpowered in general no <laughs> no <laughs> you, you lost to some of the characters that you know normally you, you know no, are. i don't want to I, oh. I, I i would feel like a like a salty boy if i talked about that <laughs> okay. Top two. okay i'll just say that i lost to a pichu and i lost to a roar that's all i'm gonna say but the thing is it's like okay Okay, this is okay, okay. This is gonna be okay. This, I kind of knew you were gonna jump into it. Okay, this is the thing. Okay, so I lost to a Pichu and I lost to a Roar, and you're probably gonna be like, "Well, okay." But the thing is, it's like, okay, um, it's my fault as a player for not getting used to fighting the characters. Like, you know, what I mean, that's like honestly, you have to understand how matchups work. You have to understand the weaknesses of some characters, the you know, and all that stuff. Like, that's something you, a player must do. Like, no matter what game you play, there would always be characters that are, like, pretty, pretty freaking good. And other characters that are, like, you know, decent, etc. But the thing is, um, it's you as a player that has to kind of, like, deal with it. Like, pretend you're using, like... I wasn't lo using a low tier at all. Like, at all, at all. But the thing is, it's like, for example, pretend you're somebody that's using a low tier. And you're fighting somebody that's, like, a high tier. The thing is, it's like... it's you If you're using a low tier, it's your job... To know the the weaknesses, the 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 strengths of the top tiers, so you could kind of like find a leeway through it. So the thing is, it's like, yeah, I lost to a Pichu and a Rory, but it's kind of like by this, like, okay. So I'm just gonna say, at the time of this recording, Pichu and Rory are like one of the really high up in the tiers right now. Like you know, like there's people, there's big people such as like like uh, like pro players such as like Zero and stuff like that who say. That Pichu is better than Pikachu, even though Pikachu, like, around, like, the first weeks of Smash were, like, the best character. Like, it was pretty much, like, the best character at the time. Then it, like, switched to Inkling. Then now people are saying, like, oh, I think, like, Pichu's stronger than P Pikachu, even though in the beginning Pikachu was the best. So it's kind of, like, it's all over the place. Yeah. But pretty much what I'm going to say pretty much is I felt like Pichu and Rory were, like, I fought a lot of Rory's, too. So it's a call. So I feel like Pichu and Rory were really strong. But again, it's like, it's not, it's like, I can't really complain. It's just like, that's just how the game is. Is You know what I mean? It's just like, I, it was my job as a player to understand the weaknesses and stuff. It's just like, whoa, like when I fought them, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like in a, like in a tournament standpoint and I saw all the stuff like those characters could do, I was just like, whoa, this is crazy. Like, for example, like when I fought the Pichu, I didn't know his down tilt, like you could just spam his down tilt. And he just kills, <laughs> like, like, like if you're like eighty percent, like eighty to ninety, yeah, you're you're just a gone character, even if you're kind of heavy too. And then what's it called? Um, for example, like a Pichu P P too, like you could do like like a sixty, like yeah, like the guy I was fighting was able to do like a sixty damage combo from like the beginning of the match, from like like two up tilts, he goes like for an up air, like two up airs, forward air, forward air, and then that does like just like yeah, like sixty nearing like sixty eight per percent, which is kind of like whoa, this is crazy. And then what's it called? I know like Squirtle has things like that, but I feel like honestly, well, just like it's my personal opinion that I feel like Squirtle has a harder time doing that compared to a Pichu. <laughs> so yeah, it's just it's crazy. But you know, like again, it's like it's not dissing on the players. They were good players. They knew what they were doing. It was just like yeah, it's my job to know that. But it was just like yeah, I guess like those are the characters that like I struggled in the tournament fighting. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Crazy. I didn't good first experience that. though no yeah it really is it honestly is because it's just like okay when i watch tournaments online and stuff like that you, you kind of no okay something super cool about super smash Bros. ultimate is there's a good m amount of different characters you would see like in tournament like when it was smash 4 it was bayonetta versus bayonetta versus bayonetta versus yeah. <laughs> etc or versus cloud <laughs> but what's it called it was just like there was like you know like the huge gap there of just like the single character with this game is like it's much more diverse which is awesome but of course it's like at the end of the day at the moment at the meta at the moment it's like you just see like a bunch of um let me see you see like a bunch of peaches you would see um 
who the hell is top tier right now actually <laughs> because it keeps switching this is a, like another thing that's crazy about fighting games is and especially since smash ultimate's new we're continually fight uh, f- continuously finding like the better characters and stuff like that and it, which is crazy but it's just like yeah at the moment it felt like peach and Roy were very strong and i de- and i saw how strong they were firsthand but of course yeah uh i gotta be ready for next time because there will be a next time because honestly like that tournament was just a leeway of like whoa you could join more tournaments and you're you're capable to like you know that you know kind of what you're doing and stuff so you're like yeah. getting rid of the maggot oh my god <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's kind of funny um i was gonna say well i have two things to say one it's kind of funny how that coffee reflects how much you're talking right now <laughs> two <laughs> Oh uh, no! <laughs> it's all well, in your head. It's like he puts down the coffee, talks, uh, takes a sip, and he keeps talking. Like you know, oh. it, just, it just reflects how fast you're going. I'm drinking coffee. Um, yeah, McDonald's coffee, <laughs> black coffee. Yeah. Uh, the second thing is, um, it was kind of funny. Like the first match you had, you, um, you won automatically. Like the guy had no idea what he was doing. Like we go back to where you were saying, like it was just such a casual, um, game, um. Ma- uh, event where it was like yeah people who didn't know what they were doing just lost like at the very beginning the thing is okay something i need to point out about tournaments okay this is for like new people who are joining a tournament so pretty much um what you know about the game pretend you know you study the game you like i could like you know like i know this game in the back of my hand you know what i mean like i play day and night i study people etc it's like when you actually join your first couple of tournaments, I'm pretty sure you're not going to entirely use what you know. What's it called? Because it's like, because for example, like in the tournament, you get kind of nervous and you keep thinking like, oh, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. Or like, I'm worried um, that I'm not going to do like, there's just so much going on, especially it doesn't help that people watch you because that's just how a tournament is. But it's just like, you know, it, there's so much to think about. So like when you're playing the game, you're like, you're kind of just playing kind of autopilot in a way like you're kind of like you're, you're like okay um like you're you're pretty much like okay when i was playing the game honestly the tournament i felt like i was using my fundamentals the whole time until later on because like what's it called uh because like for example i didn't think of oh this combo works at this certain percent i didn't think about that or oh um i'm not uh i should punish this person by getting up this way like you know what i mean like by rolling or whatever it's just like you don't think about those things because there's so much that's on your mind and you're kind of nervous so I feel like the more tournaments you go, the more that will leave. Because like um, in the beginning, I was just like, like my thought process was I don't want to lose. So I'm going to do my best not to get hit. That's really it. But of course, like the game is much deeper than that. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like, like, oh, uh, like, what should I go for that could do the most damage right now? Or what's it called? What could I go for to make to uh, pretty much get the opponent on the corner? How to what's it called how to basically beat neutral and then like you don't think about those things when you're in the beginning of the tournament because you're so scared of losing <laughs> so i guess like yeah that's it's scary so like when i play online regularly like even though like online's not the best experience because of the lag it really is not <laughs> what's it called i at least think way harder like for example like like when i'm when i play online i'm like okay i should really pay attention to how many times this person's rolling how many persons how many times does somebody uh, air dodge um how many times does this person do like st- like the same get up and then you capitalize on it that's what you do in fighting games usually but in fucking um when yeah when you're in the tournament settings it's way harder to think about those things because it's scary yes yes <laughs> Man, <laughs> Any, anything me. else on smash part of the the trip Mm. Anything else? It was a long experience. I'm just gonna say I was. I got tired. Like another thing too, I guess is for the longest time I felt like I had this problem with any game. No, with like any fighting game. The my I felt like a big problem was going on autopilot. Like for example, I would do like five games regularly that I would really concentrate. And then what's it called? Uh, then after that, I just stopped paying attention. I didn't kind of like just play because what's it called? Like I get tired. Like you know what I mean? Like and or I just stop thinking. So pretty much what's it called? Um, lately it stopped. Like I stopped going on autopilot. But the thing is, when I was playing in the tournament, like I was so 
freaking like because it was six hours like i feel like you need your stamina to be built up because what's it called since like there was so much play time and so much like you know the tournament was lo so long there was there was like a lot of like games that were like really important for me to win and then i just stopped paying attention because i was just like i'm tired <laughs> especially at the end right especially at the end honestly because i uh, something kind of funny too was during um the final final match chungus yeah <laughs> he, he was fighting a big chungus <laughs> like a large man <laughs> so when i was playing against him something that was funny was like i was just really out of it like oh my god like i'm tired like i oh, no, this is not my i'm not making excuses it's just like what's it called this is just like a part of like the tournament experience because i because um, I heard from him that he does tournaments kind of regularly, like casual ones. But something I'm not familiar with is just like how tiring they could be because it's lasting so long. So it's like also when we we're playing, like yeah, like I felt like I was just like out of it, but I was still trying. But something that really took me off, like oh, uh, like of paying attention, <laughs> was somebody asked for like a controller or something. So yeah. pretty much it was the final game. There was it, my like what's it called? We we're playing on like a little like TV. But it was like connected to like this huge monitor that people were able to watch. So pretty much it was like a, it was like a big deal. A bunch of people were watching. It was like hype, and all, all that stuff. And then somebody <laughs> was just like, "Hey, can I borrow that controller?" Like they were talking to me <laughs> right next to him. The, yeah, right next controller. to controller. Yeah, like when we we're doing the turner, somebody asked, "Can I borrow a controller?" And I was like, "What? <laughs> like what the hell is <laughs> happening?" And then he's and, like, "Yes, you can." Yeah, I was it's like, fine. "Yeah, yeah, yeah, you're fine." And then he looks back at the TV and he's getting fucked up. Yeah, and it's something funny too. Is I was recording the footage of. Um, of what's it called no 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 i was editing the footage of me in the tournament because i have a lot of footage of it and it basically like you, you like that was funny yeah <laughs> like i saw the person saying i could i borrow it and i see the screen <laughs> and then it's just me getting juggled i'm like what the fuck <laughs> like, that I'll, sucks yeah and i was just like whoa the the last the match. i feel like it was a setup that guy was. The <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the, you didn't explain that 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 like Chungus man. He was like crazy into into the game. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so something about another thing too is like okay, I'm not a tournament player, but it looked like he was. So something crazy was he was able to like turn off every noise that's like behind. Like okay, the thing is, is like tournaments are loud, and then that was kind of like loud to a point where it was kind of obnoxious. So when I was playing. I was like, you know, I was listening to everything, but I was really just trying to focus on like what his character was doing, what my character was doing. And then what's it called? Um, He had like th these headphones. Yeah, he was actually wearing headphones. They were not really headphones. They were like these things to close off the sound of like everywhere else. And I think regular tournament players use that. Yeah, like they use those headphones to clear out the noise so he doesn't bug. And he was like, okay, so something that was really weird <laughs> yeah. was, okay, his friends would come over, talk to him. The game starts. He puts on his headphones and he would say out loud like like I'm off. Like like he sounds like a robot, like I'm off. And that pretty much like I saw it a few times. I was like, wait, what's going on? But it got to, you know, like I understood where it pretty much when he said I'm off, it pretty much says don't like he's that pretty much means to him to his friends, don't talk to me. Uh my headphones are on. This thing's clearing out the noise. I'm just gonna focus on the game. Yeah. Which he actually that's actually a legitimate good game plan. Because it's kind of like he could focus more if he wears those headphones. Or whatever those were. Those noise cutters or whatever. Noise canceling headphones. Yeah. So I was just like, so the, honestly, like I could, that's a pretty good note. If you, of watch like, this, if you watch this video, Max is ordering that you want some. I will give you the address after the no. video. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what's, what I was just talking about. but um, I have to use my Target money. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't, <laughs> don't say that. Hey, I can work at any of them. <laughs> um but yeah that was cool battle of the the monsters oh dear but again yeah i don't it, i'm not proud of myself at, at any time if that guy that you faced at the end was winning or losing he would like nod his head really like yeah, 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 that was kind of funny too. Like, if I got him with spikes or if I got him with something, he would like be like, "Okay, okay." Like, I like I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. It, it looked like it, I don't know. That was weird. I don't know how to exp what to say about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it was more like he was reading the the screen instead of actually playing. No, he was like he was um, acknowledging. The, yeah. The moves. Oh, there you go. He's like, yeah. So you did this. That's good. That's good. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> then I'll do this. Oh, dude. Oh, I don't, I don't want... Okay, so the thing about the tournament, too, I had no secondaries because I was kind of, like, too worried to use them. So I was just using Pokemon Trainer the whole time because I was, like, at least it's three characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that guy switched from... He was Ness. Yeah, Ness. Then he chose to Roy. To Roy. Yeah. It's like, I'll get you in the last one with Roy. Oh, my God. <sighs> Crazy. Smash day. Yeah. I, I remember when you fought that guy the last... The first match you lost, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's over." That's it. <laughs> that was the first one, right? I think it was like the third guy. Well, I don't remember. No, the the, the last match you you lost the first try. I don't remember. I don't. Yeah, actually, oh, I think I did. Is I think it? I lost to his. Wait, no, wait, no. I think that's what did happen. I think I think he beat me with then, his nest. Yeah. I beat him because I kind of like understood. You beat him it. twice, right? Yeah. And then... Oh, so that was kind of rough, too. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, something I have to mention is in the tournament, even though I got second place, like, it was kind of like... It was rough because it was just like... Okay, so you're, I was in winner's bracket for, like, the longest time. Like, it felt like the longest time. That it stopped because I lost. Then what happened is I was in losers... I thought... Uh, yeah, I didn't know this This was... um The tournament rules was, like, legit. So pretty much there was a loser's bracket. But... So I won, like, four matches winner's bracket. I lost... Then I had to win four more matches, losers bracket, then to fight the final guy. Yeah. And then but to fight the final guy too, it's not like who it's not best out of like five. Yeah, it's not best out of five. It's basically you have to do a set with them best out of five win, then it kind of resets and it does best out of five one more time. Wow. So I had to beat him twice best out of five. Because I went to losers bracket, which is yeah, that was crazy. Oof. That was rough. That was a What's funny too is like that guy was not rooting for you at all. He wanted to fight the Pikachu uh, guy. So so like this is something <laughs> I want to talk about. Okay. Um, we were filming every match that Max was um Mix was playing. Like we were behind him with the camera the whole time. We asked everybody who he was facing, they would say yes. To and, film, right? Yeah, yeah, to film. And we would film and um the Chungus man, which is the last guy, the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> he saw us filming and i think he really got irritated like he thought we were like oh we're all that like you yeah, know like, because we we're filming so for the last five matches that he had to do with people he was like oh go other guy not not max go other no. guy the whole time until you got to him at the end that was funny <laughs> and then he'd be like so why are you guys filming and i'm like for his channel yeah. that was so oh okay so i'm gonna post the <laughs> no 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 because like my, uh, in my channel right now i've been posting the tournament like slowly but i haven't been post like you know like whenever i have free time because i work so sadly so pretty much whenever i have free time i post the video of the tournament i'm pretty much going to the final video and it's something hilarious was um it was like uh, that that was like i will remember that for a very long time what? that awkward no because it's kind of like I didn't, my brain didn't realize, like, I lost, right? Right when I lost, like, the final game. So, right when I lost, I was like, oh, okay. Like, you know, I lost, it's fine. And then I got up, and then right when I got up, you just hear screaming, like, yeah! Oh, for the then, other guys, yeah, the and then friends. When that, yeah, and then when that happened, my brain finally clicked, and it's like, oh, yeah, you lost. And I was just like, <laughs> oh, fuck. But it was just like, I like I wish I could just be like, okay, let me just leave. But I was like, I had to wrap up my controller slowly. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody deals with this. When you lose, and if you're using a GameCube controller, you take out the socket. You know, you, they get the, the, well, the plug. The plug. You wrap your controller out and walk away. <laughs> when you do that, when you lose, it feels like a century. Oh. So pretty much it's kind of like... Okay, because like every time I won a, ma a match, like I won a set, and then the person like, loses, yeah. I'm like, oh, good games, man. You, you know, the like gratitude. Yeah, like um, uh, like you know, like I would be like acknowledging, like being like, yeah, that was fun, thank you, etc. Like you know, like because I try to, you know, like I'm trying to be like, because that, that's terrible. Like yeah, okay, you're trying to be I, modest about it. Yeah, like I would never be like, yeah, you got dunked on, B. <laughs> oh. Like I would never have that you know thing attitude yeah that attitude so basically it was just like okay so right i lost when i was like wrapping up my controller i'm like okay time to leave it was just like them cheering and being like like yeah you won like but not me of course like it was just like oh god this feels very uncomfortable and i'm very close to them and i just want to like walk away as soon as possible yeah. 
And it, what's it called? Even if you walk a few steps away, you can clearly hear him because there's a lot of screaming. We couldn't we couldn't leave because you had to put your name as second. Place. Yeah, another thing too that made it last longer was so the final is pretty much you put your name on a paper for you to get a prize like later. You still like, don't know what it is. Yeah, what's it called? So impulse. It was pretty much yeah. The the tournament was like three weeks ago, right? Yeah. So the third so his prize. So pretty much the tournament was like three weeks ago. And then I still don't know what the prize is. And then apparently it's going to be like shipped or something. No, well, no, I'm going to get an email about it. Mm. But I have not got an email since. Maybe it's Anime Impulse merch. You get a free hat. That'd be cool. Or maybe I want at least a shirt. Um, shirt and hat. Maybe it's, but it's only one color. pass for next year. That's like 15 bucks. That won't be bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh my god! I didn't get to do the scavenger hunt. If the, well, if why would you? What next this year for Anime Expo? I'm oh, good luck! Scavenger hunt. Good luck if you're into that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> hey, 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 I if I remember wait, wait, wait. clearly, someone did the preemie scavenger hunt. Pretty a couple, a couple years preemie. ago. Preemie, preemie, because like we love this guy. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah you, well, well, you're that, good. If there's any type of scavenger hunt, I'm doing it this upcoming year. Okay, go ahead. So, so the main things, like events to us, were like this: the the Smash tournament, and for everybody else, people go there for the merch and the Art Style yeah. Expo, yeah. and like a lot of the, the good and well-known cosplayers were there. Um, anybody that you guys like. Of cosplay? Yeah, cosplayers. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I got that response out of Mark. Hello? No? I'm not a... No, you're, not, like, you're not a cosplayer person? I'm uncultured. The only person I follow is Lana Ray. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my <it>. God. <laughs> OJ? She's my Um, uh, There's a lot of... Too, there's too many people. To talk name about. one that went there. That you, you no enjoyed. one went there. No one went there. Are you serious? Like, yeah. Everyone that I like went They're there. all in Japan. They're all you used to complain. Oh, you, you you used to complain. You didn't like Japanese cosplayers. Remember that? You were a young man. You're like, I like the American mm. cosplayers. <laughs> oh my god! I guess he's changed. <laughs> I just, I'm literally standing in front of the mic and I'm trying to say something, but I'm like, it, it's true. I mean, there there is literally. Not that many American cosplayers out there that I fi- approve of. Are you serious? There is some, but they don't play the part for me. They just don't look the part. Oh. I mean, it doesn't matter how scrumptious, precumptuous <laughs> their body is. What? Oh, it, it's endearing when you you see like ones that are starting because they're they're very modest about what they're doing. Oh my god, they're so cute and amazing. Yes, and then when like they get oh dear, <laughs> what? No, go on, go 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 on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not like saying it's bad. Yeah, but, yeah. But when they're um more they're confident, they're too. high tier, and it's the confidence is there. I'm like, I'll <laughs> I'll go over here. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, um, so you knew cosplayers actually went? Yeah. Samples. Oh, actually, oh, okay. Oh. But like I'm I'm not watching from afar. I'm like not I'm not gonna go up to them or oh. anything. It's like John was seeing um the butt lady there and he what was the like, fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he was like, Oh you're so modest now that she's big time famous for her butt. He's like, I'm what? out. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I'll I'll, I'll put the link in the description. You you are <laughs> what? You, don't oh even, you don't about? even control the description. <laughs> That's why we call it. Wait, what's section. one video you edited? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, I was legitimately curious. Oh, <laughs> that's only bad. I walk, I walk away. I walk away. Oh, crucified Mickey. Whoever Damn. can count all the crucified Mickeys, I'll send them a prize. Probably won't send them a prize. I'll forget about it. Remember we used to like when we first went to the conventions we're like we have to take pictures of cosplayers. Yeah. We still do. I feel too awkward. And now it's like we don't cuz I think but before it was more I don't know we were new to it and we just took pictures and we didn't really ask like they would pose for us. Remember? 
Some, yeah, sometimes because no, well, it's, it's more of like there's like a crowd. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, let's take pictures of them. And while they're posing, it's like, okay, might as well. <laughs> yeah, kind of. yeah, and yeah. and they're fine with it. They used to be, but now it's like very specific. In... No, no, yeah, you're right. I feel like there's now laws. No, not yeah. you like cosplay law. Like, yeah, like you do not do this. They get mad. <laughs> yeah, it's, and I, I it's, it makes sense to some degree, mm-hmm. but um, cosplay is not consent. So if you see her half naked, don't give her a roofie and then wiggle your dookie <laughs> inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Our channel's gonna get taken down. Oh my god. <laughs> Just beep everything I say. Just be respectful. Did you hear be, that? Be oh, respectful. No, this is not a topic, be, but I just kind of want to mention it. What's the song? Yes, what's it called? Uh, did you did you hear that fucking Peter's mad at Who Bo Peep's me? new design? Did really? You hear that? I didn't even see it. What's, the, what's oh wait? Did you wait? Did you see the trailer? Nope. Wait, no, what, you did. What are you talking about? Uh, Bo Peep from Toy Story. Oh yeah, yeah. she was what? removed from her stand. No, 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 no. People are mad. Okay, this what? is dumb. Okay, no. so people are mad about it because, like, okay, so she has, um, okay, you know, little Bo Peep has the, that, that hook thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's just what Shepherd's she has. Yeah. Stat. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Like, people are mad because they're like, hey, you know that kills sheeps? Like, you know, you know what that's used for? You cut their throats and then you make them do what you want and blah, blah, blah. And pretty much she has that because, you know, number one, she's a toy. And <laughs> number two is like, that's just their design. Damn, Jerry, wait, but, you know, it. they hang the sheep and he goes. <laughs> oh we God. we eat like meat as a culture, right? But we don't yeah. eat lamb. So I eat lamb. Pita, yeah. invite me to your next party. Fuck you. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and fuck you too, Peter. Fuck <laughs> off. Like a lamb. I want some lamb. That's a nice like a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, God. I, I don't know. Oh. I guess they have a lot of good food there. Crucified. What, like a lamb? No. Oh, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Impulse. Oh. Like I, they had Okamoto's Kitchen. I like And Okamoto. then they also had Okamoto's Kitchen. We love Okamoto Kitchen. It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. But, you did, but you didn't buy their shirts. Yeah, because. I bought their keychain. <laughs> I bought their stickers. And I bought stickers. We ate their food there. I They're bought their sh- merchandise. And apparently they're trying to make like an animated web comic it's a comic it's a web like, i thought they're gonna make it an animation the first is the web comic where it has animated parts but the last tier of eight hundred thousand or eighty thousand i oh, forgot which one forty thousand but the last one is them making like a full animation but maybe you didn't donate so i, I will donate in the next few weeks wait I, I don't wait know. since i didn't donate to the okamoto kitchen thing is it is it still good that no, i bought their stuff <laughs> yeah no they're, they're like, are they using that Merchandise okay, is you you get if you go to their Patreon page and donate money towards their page you do get their. Oh, I kind of wanted a shirt. I didn't like buy that. a shirt. I kind of wanted too, shirt. but I don't want one that has the Mexican guys on it. <laughs> Yay! OJ's OJ OJ wants one. the Mexican guys. I don't want the Mexican. He's like, guys. this is what I could have been. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh, with my food truck. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OJ has his own food truck. He used to have a food truck. It's called the Citrus Inn. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. They so got many businesses that failed. They got twenty four days to go, and they only got twenty thousand dollars out of forty eight thousand. Oh, they're halfway there. Forty eight? They're almost halfway there. They're yeah, they're almost halfway there. But they got t- they only got twenty four days. Oh, to go, but dude. they're so good. They, have, they literally have almost less than a month. Half. They ha- wait. So they they only have this month, technically yes. speaking. Pretty much. Look, if they had like a few more months, maybe they could do it. One more month? No. Well, how much time did they make the twenty k? Okay, okay, okay. We we like them. If you guys want to support them, go support them. Thank you. And Okamoto <laughs> Kitchen, if you're listening to this, if you become very rich because of this, please support support us. We love you. You came from our neighborhood. Be our sponsors. We always went there every Monday after school. <laughs> we, <laughs> we literally walked down the street from. Yeah. We don't don't tell them. <laughs> I was about to say the school, but you. I'm pretty sure you know where you started. You know your ground roots. We were re- very okay, close to Okay, okay, that's enough. I um, have one of your starting flyers at That's home. enough, big boy. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going for a fortune now. One backer actually donated fucking... Thousand bucks? 1,800. Oh! Dude, he wants that to be as like an animated Dude, character. this is one backer for 7,000. What? The, where did they find these people? Dude, 1,800 is They probably paycheck, like the, the guy that animates... What the... What? The, uh, keyframer. 1,800 <laughs> is a paycheck? Well, for some people... 
Bitch, I get like the, the 200. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out tax. <laughs> well, you know, tax on. Like, oh, once you do taxes, you'll get all of that. My return. annual I income bet. is $0. So why are you going to donate? <laughs> Dude, give him your leftover shirt. change. Anything help? I got to look through my pinky Anything bank. help, but he wants a bag. I mean, he wants a shirt. What? No. My picky bank. Oh, I see your penis. <laughs> penis bank. Oh, that's right. We have to buy a biggie bank. Piggy bank. Put piggy. it in here. Piggy bank. That's not a piggy bank. You're it's gonna... a globe bank. That's a bank pig. Those are mine. It's a bank with a globe. No, don't get up. This is a podcast. This is not visual. Hey. Sit back down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. <Ooh>. It's... <gasps> Crucify me. The parking was farther compared to last year. So. Definitely. But oh, we, we, got, the tram. we got the we, trams. Yeah. The tram. But then we had to walk back because we didn't want to wait in line for the tram. Unfortunately, I did not get lucky. I didn't meet anyone. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, seriously? You say that now, and then you know you were thinking the same thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was definitely. Ah, uh, uh, oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm looking at Twitter. I wish I had a Kermit right now that could just stare you down. Kermit is on my side. Oh, oh that's <laughs> Mr. Bluebird. He's on my shoulder. Oh, what the <laughs> Dude, what kind of bullshit is this? Double wielding sh- bullshit. <laughs> Dual wielding. So how about that Will Smith as genie? Uh, what? Oh my god. Fucking shit. My phone is so messed up right now I can't even look it up. In Agrabah, he was born and raised. I have to go into my Twitter and look up all my porn that I missed. Disney, why are you making live actions of everything? Because they make money. Yeah. Disney, why, what the fuck is wrong with you in Star Wars, you bunch of fucks? <laughs> God damn it, Mickey's going to hate me. We <laughs> want good Star Wars games, <laughs> you cocks. Uh, regarding the games, but I think Star Wars Land is going to be just fun. Something. It's going to be good. Uh, I'm talking about games in specific. Have you ever noticed that you can't see John's ears? I don't like you. I don't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch yourself. We're wanted men. Wanted men. So uh, stigma. Schnigma. Is there anything else we want to say about impulse? Uh, give it a rating. Uh, One to five. Three. Four. Wait, I bought it. Four? I bought an EV four. Four <laughs> out of five. Four out of five. Three and three and a half. Three point. I like it as much seven. as Anime Expo, but in a different sense. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, no, no. It's just weird. It's just like okay, this is what's funny. I feel like okay, smaller conventions they have kind of like, like it's short, sweet, beat my meat. Like it's Th- just, three point nine. <laughs> like is something about it. No, 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 no. no. I'm <laughs> saying I changed it to three point nine. Okay, the thing is, it's like okay, with small conventions, something about it feels 9. like, like I'm happy. Like you know, this is a short, sweet, beat my meat. You know, you're happy. <laughs> When I think of Expo, it's kind of like there's good to it, but there's bad to it. (laughs) Well, like like a lot of good also means a lot of bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess more good means more bad. Like stank is worse at Expo. Like okay, when I think of okay, when I think of like a small convention, I have a like like a little smirk. I'm gonna say that I have a smirk, but when I go to uh, uh, Expo, it's like. Imagine like my smile becoming a wave. Like sometimes it's like, mm. <laughs> like this is good wave. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, like okay, I would I would I I could describe it as think of the small convention as a mom and pop shop. It's like there's love in there. When I think of Expo, it's kind of like it's bigger, but it's like think of it as like a factory in a way like a factory doesn't mean bad but it's just like it doesn't really mean good either <laughs> the old factory nerve oh that means smell oj just took his glasses off i don't care and i can't see right now Go. no jesus in Shut for up. a scare <laughs> Woo! crucified mickey <laughs> yes <laughs> He will remember his shit. Are you serious? Dabani shit. Okay, shame. goodbye. <laughs> Dabani Thank you for your time. We love you, Impulse. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank we you love for you joining the We love everyone that's listening to this. Thank you so much. We like Mickey and Okamoto Kitchen. Crucified Mickey. They should make a collab. And don't forget, <laughs> fuck EA. Bye. Citrus, man. <laughs>